The Dodgers just won the World Series in a Game 5 that saw a fifth inning with three separate misplays by their opponent, the Yankees, including two errors and a play that certainly could have been an error. But all these came on separate batted balls. Obviously, right? I mean, how many errors could you even make on one play? Well, that's exactly the notion the Dodgers challenged themselves way back in 2014, when they registered arguably the sloppiest play in the history of Major League Baseball. A Clayton Kershaw firmly in his prime delivered a 2-2 pitch to catcher Rene Rivera, who popped a shallow fly ball into center field. The Yasiel Puig came racing in on, making a nice running catch before faking the second and then flipping an off-balance throw to first base, where the toss would get away from Adrian Gonzalez. Now, if that's why this play stopped, it would have been ugly, surely, but it wouldn't have cost them even a run yet, as with two outs, 2014 Kershaw easily could have found his way out of the inning but it certainly wouldn't end there, as catcher AJ Ellis would spike a throw to second base, both allowing the runner to reach safely while also seeing the ball go into center field, tallying the Dodgers' second error of the frame. It would be then that shortstop Hanley Ramirez would fire wide to home plate, even though he had no chance to get the runner, where it slipped past a diving Kershaw. Again, even if it ended there, it still wouldn't have been a sloppier play than some of the other ones we've seen in recent years. But there would be one final indignity as the runner from second base would round third and attempt to score, sliding in safely as Kershaw tried to get out of the way of getting spiked. You can see the frustration in his body language immediately as he flipped that ball to the umpire. That's right, on one play, the Dodgers had committed three separate misplays, directly costing them two runs on a true comedy of errors. Just look at Kershaw's face here after he got back on the mound. Angry, sure, but more than a little confused as to how something like that could even happen at the highest level of baseball. Even investigating this much later, it still baffles the mind. Now, I want to ask you guys, what team do you think is most likely to do something like this come 2025? Let me know in the comments below.